Hello, this is uh, the second part of my lobe.ai machine learning experiment. And as you can see now, I'm back in the workshop. So what I've had, what you see here is uh, the Raspberry Pi cam uh, hooked up with a Pi with a, a Raspberry Pi 4, and I've managed to export the machine learning network from the Loeb experiment showed in the previous example. And I've uh, downloaded that model to the Raspberry Pi and there is a short uh, Python script that is uh, trying to feed the model with images from the Pi cam. The Pi cam, as you see, it's hooked up to uh, just a, a tripod and it's, it's actually here uh, below facing down and I also want to show you the view the actual view from um, the camera itself so I have to, to do that I have to to switch view here and start a simple PyCam software and there you go and I'll switch the view to something like with that yes so there you can see what the Pi cam is seeing it's quite similar to the view I had when I trained the network and then uh, we stop that view of simple view and instead I start the script that is called trash classifier I show you the script later it's actually cut and paste from Microsoft's tutorial about Loeb, running Loeb on uh, a Raspberry Pi. So we start that. So this is, now you see the neural network running. It's a simple Python script that I actually cut and pasted from Microsoft's uh, tutorial on running Loeb neural networks on Raspberry Pis. And I had to change some labels, etc. So it's classifying this as empty and then I introduce something like a bottle cap and the network is classifying that as a bottle cap. There was also an option in Loeb to optimize either on precision or accuracy or speed and if I remember correctly I, I checked the button for accuracy so maybe it could be faster with, but with less accuracy and then we introduce a cigarette butt that's no problem. It's also interesting to see that we could put something close to the bowl and we managed to train into the network that stuff has to be inside the bowl. And then I add some crap to the bowl instead, some noise as I call it. I actually don't, yes it seems like it's still working and then we introduce the cigarette butt into that and that is working and maybe already here we have something that might work uh, for the bird box and I would also like to show you some what do, we, what do you call it in English shortcomings or some drawbacks I trained this neural network on 74 images only that's ridiculously low and I think one side effect of that is that the network is classifying erroneous stuff as bottle caps in this way, in this situation. Or I think even this thing would be a. No, it's. Can have. No, it's a cigarette butt. So I think the network needs to see maybe hundreds of images. Uh, on the other hand, if they would bring, if the birds would bring something like this, would be surprising. But of course, I need to. Yeah, in that case, it worked out. Maybe I need to improve the accuracy of the network with training with more images. But that's not really a problem. It's just more work. And I think this white thing was also classified as a cigarette butt. No. But it's still working, I hope. Yep. 
So there is some robustness in the network, but as I said over and over again, 74 images is is ridiculously low. So, uh, and then there is an opportunity to go for, there is another similar tool, and I would like to show you that as well. And that is, is that now on OBS? Yes, that is Google has their own tool called Teachable Machines. And the setup or the layout, the procedure is more or less similar to Loeb. Maybe a little fancier graphics from, from Google, but still they are very similar. And even here, the models are exportable and could be run on Raspberry Pis and there are tutorials. Um, I have to look into, right now, the Python script for for Loeb in the tutorial is really uh, primitive because it's actually capturing the image and saving it as a file, image.jpg, and then the model is uploading this file to um, classify it. And I think that is not good and it might take some extra time. Uh, but that is that's, that's details. But uh, I think a problem for myself and maybe for you too, that this is an opportunity to um, to go take forward for uh, a multi-purpose classifier. So, over and out.